Hey guys, this is LightSonic25 here, and this is my special thoughts video. So, recently, Nintendo just um, broadcast the Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U 50 Fat Extravaganza. And I wanted to build my live reaction for this because I know this is going to be high, but you know what? I just thought of myself, I just got to give out my thoughts since I got no time to do a live reaction video. So, my thoughts are going to start here. And oh my god, oh my <laughs> You have... You have no idea how I is. Well, to those who just experienced this direct, you know how hype it was. So, first of all, to start my thoughts, um, can I just say something? Can I just say something right now? A player smash! I, I never thought that would be possible. I told myself how would that be possible and I doubt that it would I doubt that w that would happen but but uh, this is the first game in the entire Super Smash Bros series that it will support a player smash. And <laughs> it, it's just crazy. I mean, it was already chaotic with four players with all of the items and everything, stage hazards, but now we get eight players. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I gotta calm down. <laughs> it's just so hype. It's just so hype. I cannot get over this. This is... This is what... This is what at least everybody expected. So, that means we'll be able to bring all of our friends into a big house to just play Smash all together with the, excuse me, with different controllers. And and to support that A player mode, they have they have a limited amount of stages that it could support. We got the temp first of all the temple is back. The temple is back, and I'm really excited about it because I love that stage. I just kind of go to that stage so when I'm alone, just so I'm bored. And big battlefield, oh my lord, big battlefield. Are you kidding me? There's a big battlefield and a bigger version of battlefield. I'm sorry. It's just too overwhelming. And not only that, they also got the Great Cave Offensive the first danger zone in this series to where if you touch if you get touched by those flaming um platforms or walls then over a hundred percent that you get instantly KO'd so that should be really exciting I'm so happy I'm so excited for that I also know it's from Kirby so yeah I'm so excited about it but Oh my gosh, A player smash. I never I'm still hyped for that. I won't get over A player smash. I'm just gonna go ham on A player smash as soon as I get the game. I I'm serious. And I won't be touching the 3DS for long, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so and also dual play I'm watching the video right now so I can get my thoughts overall about the direct but in the Donkey Kong stage, in the new one, you can go, you can battle from foreground and the background, which means you'll be able to duel, like battle each other from two different sides. So, that's really, really amazing. It's very unique, and some people might find that gimmicky. Honestly, it's a great concept. It's really a great concept, and I love it. And there's going to be more stages. And let me just say, Garden of Hope is so much better than Distant Planet. Because I hate that stage so much. Oh, I despise that stage. But 
Yeah, the new stages in this game is so awesome. It's just so, it's just really awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait to play the new stages. And also the remake stages from Brawl and Melee. I'm not sure from Brawl, but I'm so glad. I can't wait to play the remake stages from Brawl because it just looks so amazing. The textures and everything. Yeah. So, what else to talk about? Um... I just gotta scramble, not in order. So, one thing they added, um, opposite from the Smash Run, is that they have Smash Tour, which is basically it's like Smash Run, but here's the thing: combine Mario Party with Smash, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> so basically, when it what it is, is basically you to I say basically a lot of it. <laughs> when you, you use your Mies and you try to collect all of these different stats like attack, special, defense, and power ups. All power ups, just like Smash Room, but you, pe you play in Mario Party style. And you get to collect fighters and you can steal power ups from different enemies you face. Um, from different enemies that take your power-ups away and you collect that all blah, blah, blah. you collect the other players power-ups I don't know what I'm saying and at the end just like in Smash when you just duke it out in battle so that's I really like it and it really proves that how much Mario Part how much the new Mario Party game sucks so, eat a Mario Party. What's Mario Party? T What's Mario Party 9 to Smash Tour? Like seriously? <laughs> oh, bro. I'm so I'm so hyped about that. And they also have me vs stages, which is um, you can post um like cheering, cheering um messages and pictures and just battle in the Miiverse stage <laughs> so that's very creative I, I like that concept and another thing that I another thing that I like is what is Palatina's guidance and and Pit and they're just talk and Pit and all the other Kit Icarus state characters Talking about the characters, so that's really awesome. They brought it back from Kid Icarus Uprising. And right here, right here, what you see on the screen. So, face it, Ridley fanboys. Ridley is not a playable character. He is just a boss. But, but, if you attack him first, then he gets to fight by your side. And if you KO Ridley... You earn a point, so <laughs> it's really funny. But seriously, oh my god, I can't, I can't explain how much I keep finding comments on really gonna be a character Smash Four, and I'm like, no. So stop with the Ridley. <sighs> it just anger, it just frustrates me to know how stupid the pl the. The people are, and even if Ridley was confirmed to not be a playable character and a boss character, people are still in denial, like, they're just stupid. But, you know, you can ignore me all you want. You can ignore my rant about Ridley all you want. I'm just gonna point that out right there. So, another, another mode they have, um... Oh wait, the modes that are returning obviously is for glory and for fun, but you get to play it with two players. Oh, and speaking of multiplayer, like everything is now multiplayer now. Like this is the Smash game. It's heavily, it's multiplayer based heavily because not only did we get to play it online as co-op, but no wait, we do get to play online as co-op. We can play. Well, I'm not sure if we could play online with locally because they show we can play with friends and all that stuff. But, 
but we get to play online as with co-op and with friends and not only that we get to play stadium but with four players now they're letting us choose four players for um home run contest um no i think they let us do two players for that but anyway they they let us use um four players like target blast a multi-man smash which is very insane. I mean they're letting us four players to play multi-man smash. It, it's just too overwhelming. And then we got um trophy rush from 3DS which is basically you get to smash some boxes and all that stuff and you get trophies for it. So yeah, <laughs> and they have other multiplayer modes, so... Oh my gosh, now this is a Smash game that we all wanted to, where we can play with our friends locally and online. Well, if we have friends outside of <laughs> the world. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I might gather some of my friends and we'll just bash out each other on modes and all that stuff and another thing they added is um master um master um what's it go oh master and crazy orders so in master orders uh it's kind of hard to explain it because i didn't quite catch to what what it meant but um Oh, if you beat um, some players, you know, for free for all, um, team smash, uh, all those other stuff, you, you basically get rewards and customization moves, which is very awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I don't know how exactly that works, so I just kind of had to wait and see. And Crazy Artist is kind of the same, but you basically just spend your money or spend some kind of pass and and at the end you're supposed to fight crazy hand I don't, I don't know I don't know I didn't quite catch that and classic mode is obviously returning but this is different from the 3ds version now it's skill based to where it's basically survival you just had to battle um, some characters as fat you know, just to survive, and you can beat to defeat Master Hand and Crazy Hand and Master Core, which I will get right. I will get to it in a moment, and it, it's just different. And you can increase your difficulty if you want. Like go nuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also you can play co-op classic mode, which is really, really. Unexpected. I never thought you could play classic mode with two players. All star mode lets you do it with co op, so that's really exciting. And oh, event modes. Event modes are returning. I kind of miss event modes. Even though I haven't played them since like Brawl, since I completed all of them. But I'm still glad that event modes are returning. It's just. It's just, I don't know, it wouldn't feel right if event modes were here. Like, it would just feel weird. Oh, and also, in all-star mode, instead of going from old to new, like finding old characters to new characters, now it's backwards to where you, it's basically out with the old, out with the new, and in with the old. If you kind of catch that, so it's it's very unique. I kind of like that concept. Uh, I kind of like it backwards. So what else? Let's see. Um, oh, tourneys are back. Tourneys and tournaments are going to be back. So there is going to be a lot of tournaments and tourneys that's going to be in Smash Brothers for the Wii U because. You usually don't, you can't create your own tournaments or tourneys, but now you can in this new mode. So that is going to be insane because 
I'm going to participate in turn on well, tournaments and tourneys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna host one, but I'll be participating in one. So so yeah, that's gonna be really exciting and let's see what else. Um Let's see what else, what else, what else, what else, what else. <laughs> I'm so brain fart, I just so hype about this. Um uh, well stamina battle and special smashes and coin battles are gonna be returning. That's gonna be so awesome. And let's see what else. Oh, another cool feature you can do is that when you take snapshots of fighters, you can basically draw over them. So, take for example, village, drawing villager with wings. And you can, if you're a great artist, then you could, you could just create some wacky stuff where you take photos of fighters doing some weird stuff. I know I'm a jar, I'm a jar specialist. Well. I'm not that good at drawing, but I don't know. It just it just feels a, a bit difficult to draw on a gamepad and other things like this instead of like pads. But I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn, and I'm going to post some crazy stuff. Yeah, and also um, those trophy things where you put. Put trophies to do some things, yeah. I don't know what that's called, but yeah, that that's kind of something nobody ever does. So let me see, what else am I missing? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna lose my voice after this, but. Let me see. Oh well, the music—the music is more. There's more music on this game. That's very awesome for sure. Oh, and also stage builders. Stage builders are back. Uh, I mean, I like the stage. I like how they introduce stage builder in Brawl, but the problem is, um, it's limited. Like. You don't get to build this big entire world that you wanted to create. Like, it's very limited, as you might say. But with this, it's much more, it's much more vast and you could draw. I'm, I'm not joking. You could draw and create stages on your own. Like, seriously, that is a very, very neat concept. And I love it. I love it so much. I, I I'm a good draw, so I'm just going to draw what. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just gonna draw Sonic. I'm just gonna draw Pikachu, and they're just gonna be based off stages. Like, oh my god. And then the, and then the best part is you get to share with friends or other people online. So. That is very, very exciting. That is so... Actually, that's better. That's better than Brawl. Score Brawl. We got Wii U, baby. <laughs> and also, about Master Core. You're basically... When you're fighting Master Core, the phases are backwards. So, you face the... Um, your reflect... Yourself, your darker self. Uh, Master Edges with the swords. Uh, Master Scorpion and not oh, Scorpion Beast and Master uh, Giants, the humanoid uh, monster. And at the end of the, after you beat all those four bosses, those four phases, instead of having the core, you you have this big gigantic field. Like maze called Master Fortress, where you, I think you're supposed to hit all the cores to the Master Fortress so you can beat beat it, and and it just looks so beautiful. It looks so 
amazing. Like right here, like right here, it's, it's just so amazing. And all these neat, neat dark enemies, it's just, oh my god, it's so amazing. Oh my lord. Oh my god. And what else to talk about? I basically just cover all the most important stuff. So I got nothing else. I don't know what to say about anything else. Oh, and we. I don't know if you noticed, but. Oh, well, I'm sure you know, but I'm just gonna say if you. If you, um. Put in your code. Like your Nintendo. Club Nintendo code. For both versions, then you're gonna get, um. Both. Uh. Soundtracks. So. That's really cool. I'm. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go get that, get that CD, but I rarely use my CD. Like, I rarely use my radio now. Actually, I never used my CD before. But, whatever, uh, let me see. What else? Let me see. I totally have brain farts when I got nothing else to say. Oh, and challenges, they're a lot bigger. They're a lot bigger than we were expecting. Oh, and also, if you got all the customization moves from the 3DS version, you can port it to this version. So you won't have to waste time, like, collecting customizations all over again. But, I don't know, I'm gonna do it again just because, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna see what I can do. And also... Let's... Oh, Amiibos! Amiibos! <clears throat> Excuse me. Amiibos are going to return. So... What? Not return? What the heck is wrong with me? Amiibos are gonna debut in Smash 4, which you you all probably know, so... It's gonna be exciting. I can't wait to level up my amiibo and just wreck people that have them. Has them. So it's just gonna be insane. <clears throat> and also, when they ended off the direct, they showed about the junior trailer, which I don't know why they didn't show it before Bowser Jr. was announced. Uh, did he find wrong about that? Anybody? I don't know, I just thought that they should have debuted Bowser Jr.'s trailer before he was confirmed. But, even before that, even when it was released, like, at the direct, it was still hype. It was still hype. Like, Bowser Jr. was just wrecking everybody. And, it, and Bowser Jr. just, just wrecked Mario's shield with this... With a drill, like he just broke his shield and I, and like he runs over Mario. He just, he just broke his shield and run over Mario. Like you can't do that. You can't do that to Mario. You cannot do that to my childhood video game character. You just can't do that. So, and after that. Then Bowser Jr. just brought his squad. The Kobo Links, they're here. The Kobo Links are here. And and there is a reason why they created eight costumes. I just thought of this. I just started thinking about this right now. There was a reason why they created eight costumes. Now they start purpose. Eight costumes. Eight alternative costumes. And a player smash. For example, if you want to play Nintendo characters against, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to play Mario characters with, I don't know, Pokemon Revs, then you can do that. It's just now they start purpose now. Now the alternative costumes will just be there. You could, <laughs> you can play all the characters at once. <laughs> Also, the masterpieces are back, which I'm not gonna do. Maybe when I do masterpieces, I'll get 
I'll just do it out of boredom. You know. But. Oh my god. None of this could be ever more hype than this. So. At the very end of night in the Nintendo Direct. I never thought this would be possible. They're going to release DLC characters now. And this DLC character. This DLC character. Oh, and I'm still crying right now. The first DLC character to be revealed. The one I never thought that it would return to the game. Like ever. Mewtwo. Yes. Mewtwo. Freaking Mewtwo! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like right now, I just watched the, the red like four days ago and I'm still crying. I'm still crying. Like seriously, I'm not faking my cry. I I almost I am almost crying right now. I never thought that Mewtwo would ever come back to the series ever again. But now he's returning and I and this is a dream for everyone. Everyone was waiting for this. Like, everyone was waiting for Mewtwo to be back, and I was like, he's not gonna come back, unless they confirm DLC, then he's not coming back, but, <clears throat> excuse me, now he is. And, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is how high I am! This is how high I am with Mewtwo! But the sad part is to get him as to get him in the game as DLC, you had to get both versions and register them to get the DLC, which <clears throat> excuse me, which kind of sucks. I mean, I mean, think about it. Not everyone can afford a Wii U or a 3DS. Like if they purchase one, that doesn't mean they're gonna get the other one. I mean, there's a lot of people that can't afford for games like that, so I kind of feel bad for those people. But if they're Mewtwo fans, then they could go crazy. I won't. They. I won't stop them. But freaking Mewtwo! Oh, that's just so epic. And think about it. If they're releasing Mewtwo back, they might be. Really seeing more DLC characters like Ice Climbers. I really hope they brought bring Ice Climbers back. Ice Climbers, Wolf, Wolf could be a possibility. Um, Roy, or Pichu. I might be even surprised if Pichu was in there. And I don't know about Snake, since I don't know. I don't really like Snake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're gonna hate me on this, but I just don't like Snake. I just don't. But if they're gonna add him there, then they can go ahead. I'm just so hyped for Mewtwo, man. Oh my god, it's like... Here's what I was thinking. I think they were wanted to release the 3DS version first as a test subject. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking right now. That's what I was thinking right now. They released 3DS version first, so they can test to see. Oh, I don't know. They were just. I think they want us. I think they want to surprise us with more modes and how better the Wii U version could be. And they proved it. Oh my gosh! I'm so hype. 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 I'm so high. Uh, and I don't know what else to talk about. That's probably it. So 
that's basically my thoughts, and I cannot wait for the Wii U version. Seriously, I can't wait. I wish I had the review copy just so I could review how the game, the Wii U version is, so, but I'm not Nintendo worthy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, so, my gosh. So, that was probably the best, most hypest direct Smash Bros. direct we ever got. So, that's gonna conclude for my thoughts for the, for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. If you, even, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And, about my Mario, I'm sorry if I didn't get to record Mario Kart 8 last week. I was kind of busy, and... I was really busy with school and stuff, so, yeah, but, here's the thing, I'm going to record Mario Kart 8 after Halloween, like, Halloween is coming up this, this Friday, so, I'm just going to find some, um, Halloween-based things, like, for example, new Super Mario Brothers stages, if I find, like, Boo, stages. I'm going to record and go through all the boost stages if I can. So yeah, Mario Kart 8 is coming up after Halloween is up so that I can find games that are based off Halloween, you know, scary types and all those other jazzes. So yeah, I'm sorry if you're expecting Mario Kart 8 this week, but I'm so I'm just so sorry. Like if I if I announce Mario Kart 8, if I go into record Mario Kart 8, then I'm basically gonna tweet out. Like I said, follow me on Twitter if you if you want to know about updates about the channel like Mario Kart 8, um Smash Brothers, all that stuff. Or my personal life. I don't care. Just follow me on Twitter, you don't have to, but you basically get all the info, as you might say, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so I hope I get to film some more Smash content in the future when I get this game, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and you know, have a great day. This is Light Sonic 25 signing out. Bye bye, and I will see you guys when we settle it. It's smash. I don't know. That was random.